Hi friend, today we're going to spend the day together. In fact, we're going to spend a couple of days together as I get some of my work done and also do some chores around the house. My name is Cindy and I am a blogger at reinventeddelaware.com and here on YouTube, we like to share projects that we make over, thrift store shopping hauls that we have, all sorts of things like that. I hope you enjoy this video today. My morning routine is pretty much the same. I wake up pretty early. My husband and I enjoy listening to the news. Well, we listen to the news. I don't know if it's enjoyment or not, but we listen to it. And we have coffee and we just visit before he goes off to work. And then I get my day started. I get dressed, do my hair, makeup, you know, all that kind of thing. And I also get my breakfast ready. Now here's my breakfast I've had for almost probably 20 years, like a long time, a smoothie shake. It's frozen blueberries homemade Greek yogurt, almond milk, and a banana. I put it in this blender. I let it defrost for a little while, and then I come back and blend it. I'll show you here in a little bit. But this is a really healthy breakfast. I like starting my day off this way. And you also see those little bowls with some frozen fruit and the yogurt. I'll stick those in the fridge, and that will be my husband's and my dessert later on after dinner. In the meantime, I'm going to get a sourdough loaf going. I'm kind of dabbling in sourdough a little bit, just here and there. Nothing serious, but I thought I'd just share it with you. This is my starter. It's doing really well. I have my laptop open because I am using a recipe on Farmhouse on Boone. I'll link that recipe down below. She's the queen of all things sourdough. If you want to know anything about it, head over to her blog and her YouTube channel and you will learn how to do sourdough. I'm just kind of getting introduced to it over the last couple of years. And like I said, I, I don't make a lot, but I make a little bit and it's just fun to make. This loaf is just going to be a loaf of bread for dinner later on the next day. Now I said that we would be spending a couple of days together and that's what you're going to see in this video. I'm switching back and forth over the next couple of days of recording some of the activities, some of the things that I do around the house. So you'll see my, my, clothes are going to change and all that. In fact, you'll see some of the, I'm wearing the same green shirt in some of these videos that I wore for like two days in a row. I don't know. Do you do that? I don't wash my shirts or pants every single day. Is that weird? I, I don't know. It's what I've done. But anyway, here you go. Back to my regular morning routine. One of the things that I almost always do is I make that bed because I like to get into a bed that's been made. And I think that it just Listen, if you want to straighten up your bedroom, the best way to do it is just to make your bed and all of a sudden your bedroom can look neat and tidy. And I like that kind of look. I like things to be, I like things to have a fresh start. So that's what I do here with the bed. Each day I make the bed and I launder my sheets once a week. I'm going to show you how I do that. I know it sounds exciting. I'll show you how I do that. I had kind of have a, an interesting way of laundering sheets and I'll show you that later on in the video. For now, I'm just straightening the covers, making the bed, opening the curtains, you know, just kind of waking up the house in, in a way. A lot of what you do in the mornings, that's exactly what you're doing. You're kind of waking up your house and it's a mindset that you can get yourself in to get your day started. If you're a homemaker, I was a homemaker for years and years and years. I still am a homemaker. I just so happen to also work from home. So I like to have my house woken up. I like to have things at fresh start and making the bed is one of those things. Now this spray that you see, I've had that same spray bottle for 10 years or more, but I keep changing the solution. The solution is simple. It's water and some essential oils or fragrance oils, whatever I ha have on hand, and then a little splash of rubbing alcohol. I feel like it's killing the germs on the pillows, especially. And I do this probably three or four times a day, I, not a day, three or four times a week, I'll spray down our pillows just to try to knock down some of the germs. Now, another thing that I do on a regular basis is laundry. Like we all do that. Now, these are some things that I found recently while I was at the Goodwill Bins. You might've seen that video. I went with a couple of my sisters. I'll link that video up in the cards here. Um, you'll be able to see that video where I bought these rugs and I bought that really pretty shower curtain and they just need to be laundered, so I throw them in. Okay, this is a different day. You see, I have on the same pants, a different shirt. 
who knows what day it is, but at some point in this week, I'm working on a blog post project and I reinvented this wreath that's been on our door. I, I've made it over for, uh, let's see, for fall, for winter, and now I'm making it over for spring. You can see here that I've, I'm getting some paint and some other supplies out. And then you can also see my camera off to the left. That is the camera that I use to photograph my blog projects. Now I will link this particular blog post down in the description so you can go check out the full tutorial. This was a cheap way to get a new wreath for next to nothing. Well, of course, while I'm working on my project, Walmart makes a delivery and it's like Christmas. So I have to open up the boxes and I had light bulbs and <laughs> these little freezer tray things, these silicone things. I don't know, the little things in life make me happy. So I thought I would just share my, my Walmart delivery for the day. Here I'm back at this wreath and I, I took this wreath apart. I painted the little pine cones in spring colors. You'll see it all over on that blog post. It really turned out cute and I want you to see it. So be sure to check that link down in the description. Okay, now by this time, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, and I know my shirt is different, but my routine's pretty much the same. I do some intermittent fasting, so I don't eat breakfast till about 10, even though I got this shake ready earlier in the morning, I'm just now ready to have it. So I get this Vitamix blender, which by the way, is the best immersion blender on the planet. This thing is great. I have to put that shake down in the sink because it has so much power, it will spill over and it's, well, there you go. It's just easier to take care of that in the sink. So I blend this thing up really, really well. And it, it, this breakfast is just so good. And this is easy to clean. So I just take that blender, I turn it on in my soapy water and blend and blend and it cleans that blender and boom, that part of my day is all finished. I'm going to link this Vitamix blender down in the description in case you're interested. Um, I just wipe this thing down after I'm done. I put it away very quickly in the cabinet. I mean, breakfast couldn't be simpler and healthier. Look at that gorgeous breakfast that I have almost every day. Okay, back to the bread. So I've done the mixing part this morning. It's been a few hours and now it's time to do this whole stretch and fold thing. Let me know down in the comments, have you tried sourdough or have you experimented with this? I've really only started doing this the last couple of years. I, I'm not going to blog about it. I'm not going to make videos about it because that is not my specialty. I'm just experimenting. Let me know if you have tried sourdough bread down in the comments. Tell me your experience with that. Okay, back to the laundry. So I've washed this tablecloth. I've thrown it in the dryer while I was doing the stretch and fold. And then while it's still hot and very, very damp, I just hang this up on a skirt hanger. This is a great way to get wrinkles out of anything. I do it with my husband's button up work shirts. I do it with, well, you'll see here with the sheets. Yep. My bed sheets. Uh, I did it with this tablecloth and you will have no wrinkles. Now, while it's still damp, I needed to kind of pull out where it was stitched because it was it was gathered up too much. So if you gently pull on that, it will help it to straighten out and lay flat. This tablecloth will not need to be ironed. Listen, I'm not into ironing. So this is my way around it. And this technique is something that you can use with lots of your laundry. Um, if there's anything that needs to be ironed, Okay, back to work. So once a week, I have a Zoom call with one of my blogging friends. And basically what we do is we get on a Zoom call, we tell each other what we're going to do for the day, and then we get to work. We put each other on mute and we minimize the window. And it's kind of like having a coworker and to keep me accountable for a solid hour and a half, I just sit there and I really knock out some work. At the end of the call, we tell each other what we did and then we go about our day. On this particular day, I was preparing to write a blog post about cleaning copper. So I allowed my copper pots and pans and some thrifted items that I had, I allowed them to get really tarnished so that I could show you how to clean it. I will link that blog post because I have step-by-step -step in, in that blog post of how to do this, but it's super easy. You grab this product, it's called Earth Bright. You've seen me use it here before on brass candlesticks and some other things that I've used it it works great on copper. You just, 
lightly polish it, rinse it really well, and then you have this beautiful shiny copper. And then I also clean the inside of the copper. So copper is lined in tin and you need to remove that carefully and a folded piece of foil and some baking soda in boiling water for about 45 or 60 minutes will loosen a lot of that. I have more details about that over in the blog. So I want you to be sure to check that. I'll have it linked down below. You can see the difference here on the lid on the one side is polished and the other side is not. So if you want to polish copper, this Earthbright is the product to use. Back to some laundry. So I, I have a little system for laundry. I usually wash our regular clothes on the weekends. And then during the week, I'll do a load of kitchen towels, which includes cloth napkins. Yep, I, I use cloth napkins I have for most of our married lives, frankly, it's just cheaper than paper napkins. And I have to wash kitchen towels anyway. I might as well wash napkins. I have enough napkins and kitchen towels that I only need to do one load per week. So I'll wash one load per week and then I just fold them. And in no time, I've got fresh, clean towels, fresh, clean cloth napkins. And it does save a lot of money because I don't have to buy paper napkins all the time. Now here's a task that I don't do often in the winter. My husband usually takes care of this, but in the summertime, sometimes I do. I thought I'd just show you. We collect all of our food scraps, so the banana peel from my shake, or uh, you know, the, on the heads of lettuce when you have the leftovers, you know, all that greenery stuff that you have in the kitchen, those kind of kitchen scraps, not meat, just vegetable scraps. And we take them out to our compost pile. And then my husband can use that compost over in his garden. Or when I'm planting in container gardens, I can go over there and grab a little bit of that and throw it into, you know, the containers. And we like to use those coffee uh, containers, those really large coffee containers to hold all the scraps till we're ready to get rid of them. Not the prettiest thing to set on the counter, but <laughs> that's what we do. My little dog likes to watch every move I make. He is right there, little Barkley. Here's the finished wreath that I made over. Don't forget, I'm going to have this blog post linked down below so you can check out the step-by-step. -step. And I'll also share a pretty image of the finished wreath on our front door. We're at a different day now and it is sheet washing day. So I've already stripped all the sheets off of the bed and I've run them through the washer. Now this fitted sheet is completely dry. And what I do is I throw just the fitted sheet into the dryer and I let it totally dry. Then I come and I put it on the bed. While it's on the bed, I've already tossed in that flat sheet into the dryer and I put it on hot and I let it get really hot but not dry. In fact, it's very, very damp. It's only in the dryer for not even five minutes. I bring it out onto my bed and I lay it out flat. I don't tuck it in and I just let it air dry for the rest of the day. And this will make the sheets perfectly flat. I mean, they look so good. It looks as though you've ironed them and you have it. And believe me, I am not going to iron sheets. I'm back to this bread. Can you tell that my regular work day is much like I work on projects? I switch from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next. That is just how my brain works. Let me know, do you do the same? While one thing is working in the kitchen, like this bread is rising, I'm doing laundry while the laundry's in the dryer, I'm doing something else. I mean, it's just constant, isn't it? This bread is easy to make. Don't forget, I'm going to link that this particular recipe down in the description. If you wanna get started with sourdough, this is the one to start with.
Once the bread was cooled, I was able to slice it and I used it for our dinner. Now, dinner tonight was pretty simple. My husband brought home this thing from Aldi and it's pre-cooked. It's like a pork with barbecue sauce and we just needed something quick. So along with my homemade bread, I heated up some green beans in the microwave and we heated up this pork barbecue stuff and and that was it. it. This was a really easy dinner and it was pretty tasty. It didn't take any time at all. In fact, I even bought one of these and I have it in the freezer just in case I have one of these nights that I just didn't get around to cooking dinner. Now, later that night is when all the sheets are dry and the pillowcases. So that's when I completely finish making my bed. This is about 8 p.m. that night and I make the bed and it's all done and I have not had to fold any of those sheets, just ready to go. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and spending the day, actually spending a couple of days with me. If you have any questions about anything that I've talked about here, any suggestions that you would like to offer, any of that, please let me know down in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.